Now, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And <clears throat> this is going to be a video on uh, this news article, which was shared on YouTube by this brother, um, GMS Ayash, serving Yahweh Shai 144. Okay, and um, here as you can see he shared a couple of links. Okay, um, and I, I um, you know, ran into this or right not. <clears throat> you know, ninety three, nearly ninety three percent of global central banks are now exploring digital currencies. So you know, I took the link, I copied it, and um, I was able to share it. I mean, not share it, but use the link in order to access this website. Now, we know that for a long time now, the so-called elites have had a agenda to basically digitize money. OK, and it, it's really started with, you know, these credit cards and debit cards, you know, but now. You look at today's time and there's many different ways you can make it digital payments. You know, they have something called swipe. Where basically if your card has the chip in it, you can literally swipe it over the sensor of a payment screen and it will process your payments. They also have something called Apple Pay, where if you have like the barcode on your phone, all you have to do is um, wave your phone over the sensor of the credit card uh, screen and pay that way. But what what these cards, and what these phones have in common is what they both have have the chip in them. OK, so it's important to understand that without the chip and these different cards, cards or even within these different phones, making payments is not even possible. So the point is, is that um, the way society is heading, we're heading down a road where there's going to be a new way of paying. Now, they have something called biopay, where, you know, which one of my previous jobs I had before I used to, uh, ha had this type of way of paying where you would take your finger right you would um, take your finger you would place it on this biometric scanner and if it was if it was familiar with your fingerprint then you'd be able to process payments that way okay you know and I believe they had something like that at Delaware North at the top of the Falls restaurant where you would place your finger on a biometric scanner in order to clock in or if you was clocking out for your lunch break, you would you put your finger on a biometric scan. And if it recognized your fingerprint, then it would it would let you clock out or clock in for for lunch or whatever. OK. So. It says here that a vast majority of global central banks are exploring the scope of issuing their own digital currencies, and it's a trend that could eventually aid the international campaign to shift away from the dollar. And you see, this is what the so-called elites want. They want to shift away from the dollar. They want to shift away from 
the physical aspects of making payments because right now, the medium that is used to make exchanges in order to buy goods or services is what? The dollar. So they want to make it to where, you know, have uh, having a physical object which you could take out of your wallet and make payments with. They want to do away with that. And they want to make it to where the only way you can make payments is through digital means. So that means that your money will no longer be in your wallet. It will be in your right hand or in your forehead. And that will be by the way of what? A RFID chip, which is the MOTB. Okay. Now, if you take the CHIP, which is the MOTB, well, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to meet a nuclear end. Okay. Because the, 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 the end game is what? If you take the CHIP, which is the mark of the beast, then if you somehow make it through Jacob's trouble, which is going to be via martial law, race wars, famine, starvation, disease, warfare, vicious animals such as bears and tigers, and you know, it's going to be robots, Terminator robots, robot dogs. You know, and the many different plagues that the Lord's going to bring on this country. If you somehow make it through all that, well, you got a date with the missiles, like it tells you in Revelation 14 and 9, okay? Okay, the wine that is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is going to come in the form of those nuclear missiles. And we know that a lot of people, they're going to end up taking the chip out, out of security or so they can eat. For protection, rather if it's because of all the hell and the mayhem that's going to be going on in those days, a lot of people is going to resort to taking the sea hip just just to go back to a sense of normalcy. Which, once the economy of this country collapse, that's it. This this country will never be the same again. You know, hell's going to break loose. There's going to be civil wars. Race wars, class wars, financial wars, people's going to form factions and militias. <laughs> OK, and guess what? If your mind is not, you know, well, I mean, if the Lord is not dealing with you, you're not going to make it past Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, you're going to resort to taking the sea hip. Now, of course, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, I forbid that any of us take it. You know, you know, if it be Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah's will, we're not taking no damn chip, okay? The scriptures say that um that that the Lord's elect, and a matter of fact, let's get that. The Lord's elect will no longer stay upon him that smote them. Um you know what? I, I can find it quicker if I just do this. Let's go to Google real quick. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Bible. They shall no more stay upon him that smote them. KJV. Now, you know what we're hoping to be of the elect. And we're hoping to never take that chip, you know, because our, our faith is going to be holy upon Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You know, now remember the brother Yashawamba in one of his videos, he said that we're going to have to step out on faith, not saying that, you know, lose faith, but, you know. We're going to have to put all our faith and trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because it's going to get really, really ugly out here. Isaiah 10 and 19. OK. Um, let's let me see. Let me see. So Isaiah 10 to 20, it says, and it shall come to pass in that day. That the remnant of Israel, who's the remnant of Israel? That's another way of saying the elect. 
the elect and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Right. Who who smote us? The Edomites, the self-proclaimed white men, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. OK, so what Isaiah 10 and 20 is saying here is that. When that time comes, we're not going to rely on the man who smote us. OK, but they shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. You see that? So in those days when Jacob's trouble comes, which is going to clearly impact the whole nation of Israel. <laughs> OK. It, you know, our trust, our faith is going to be purely on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, especially if it be the Lord's will. OK, because we have no intent on, on taking some damn chip. OK, that's a sin unto death, you know, so, you know, our faith is going to be completely on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. You know, because in those days, you know, we're going to be completely separated from society. We're not going to be putting our dependency on, on, on the devil. Our dependency is going to be on the heavenly father, Yahweh, and in the son, Yahweh Shai. So, you know, let's come back over here now. So it says, according to a research paper published, International Monetary Fund staff, the IMF, up to 93% of monetary authorities around the world are considering so-called central bank digital currency, CBDC. And more than 100 countries are looking at retail uh, insurance, issuance of such instruments, researchers at the institution said, citing figures from the Bank for International Settlements. And that could be a tailwind for the anti-dollar movement at least some economies, according to IMF staff, CBDCs could help de-dollarization or counter uh, crypto cryptoization. They wrote in a report published this month and dollarized or euroized economies. The introduction of CBDC could encourage a greater use of local currency by making it more attractive means of payment, in particular with the rise of other forms of digital money denominated in foreign currencies such as stable coins, a CBDC can help prevent the local currency from being supplanted, they said. However, the impact of CBDCs would depend on the extent to which the instrument addresses the barriers to financial inclusion in a given country, according to the report. Central bank digital currency is money that a country central bank can issue. It's so it's called digital or electronic, which is that's that's they, they want to make money electronic. OK, because it isn't physical money, notes and coins. You see that they're trying to get away from the physical aspect of paying and make it to where you need an electronic device in order to pay, rather if it's through your card, you know, your phone. And inevitably it's going to be, it's going to move over to the chip. Okay. It is in the form of an amount on a computer or similar device. The bank of England defines the concept of its website. The bank of England is the UK central bank and together with HM treasury, we are looking closely at the idea of central bank digital currency for the UK. If we introduce one, we called it the digital pound. It added China has already introduced a digital yuan while Russia is going ahead with plans to pilot a similar version of the ruble. These countries are also at the forefront of an international drive to reduce reliance on the US dollar and across border trade and investment flows. And that has come to be known as the dollarization. So that's pretty much the end of that article there. If we come over here, right, let's go to the book of Revelation. Because the Lord, the Lord have set up particular men on this planet 
to warn our people about this moment, which we are fastly approaching. You know, and if you calling yourself a prophet, if you calling yourself teaching out of the scriptures, you're supposed to be warning our people about the CHIP, the C-H-I-P. And if, if, if you're not doing that, then, well, you know, like, well, what the fuck are you doing? You know, there's a reason why the Lord made you a watchman. Now, I'm mainly talking about these false Israelite groups because there's a lot of Israelite groups out there that's not even going into this this important prophecy, which is going to be blood on their hands. OK, Ezekiel three, verse 17, Revelation 13, verse 16. And he calls of all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, a karagma, in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is going to come via a CHIP. And that no man might buy or sell. You see, without this, this device, the size of a grain of rice, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. And that no man might buy or sell, save or accept he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without the CHIP, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. That means you won't be able to pay bills. You won't be able to pay rent. You won't be able to have a job or own a job. You won't be able to put gas in your car. You won't be able to buy food. You won't be able to buy services. But you know what? Fuck all that. What did Paul say? I count all that as dung that I may win Yahawashai, you know. You know what we're, we're, we're fighting to, to get, you know, that crown, you know, the, the crown that Yahawashai will put on, on the heads of his elect men. And, you know, what we're hoping to be of the elect, you know. So, you know, fuck that CHIP. And, you know, Lord as well, the Lord put the spirit on us to to resist it. Even until the very end, until Yahweh's return, or, or even if we have to die, you know, Lord's will, the Lord put the spirit on us to resist the sea hit, even until the very end. You know, and Lord's will, we who are hoping to be of the elect, Lord's will, we will never. Take that chip. Never. And Lord's will. Okay. Revelation 13 and 18. Here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, 306. Okay. So now let's go to Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation okay and that what is that going into the nuclear destruction because during world war three there's going to be a nuclear war that's going to break out where nukes, intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to be shut off, carrying hundreds of nuclear warheads inside of them. OK, and if you have to see hip and you're over here on the soils of America, you're going to burn and, and that nuclear fire because the lake of fire is really the land of America being set on fire by nuclear missiles and from the the intense concentrated laser beam coming from what the world calls ufos because they're going to shoot laser the the angels which travel around what the world calls ufos they're going to be shooting lasers on this country <laughs> okay <laughs> They're going to be shooting laser beams on this country and people are going to be getting zapped to powder. So the icing on the cake is going to be when, when this country is hit 200 million nuclear warheads. 
<laughs> okay, and it tells you that in the book of Revelation. 200 million nuclear warheads are, are going to hit this country. And because the nukes are going to come from Russia, NATO, China, Iran, and many other countries that's going to be at war against America in those days. And Putin already has his nukes on standby. Okay. I believe there was an article that came out where it said that Putin put his, nu his nuclear forces on standby. Okay. So this country is going to be destroyed in nuclear warfare. So it says, the same shall, uh, Revelation 14 and 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the wrath of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out with a mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and the brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So that proves that that wine that is poured out with a mixture is talking about nukes because it said that they shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So there you go. There's a punishment for taking that thing. Okay, so pretty much that that concludes this video. But then I'm gonna say, call Halayum La, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawah, Bahashom, Yahawashai. Shalom is on to the next one.